Hello everybody, this is Bogdan Burcha, Technical Marketing Manager at Infinite Wireless. I'm very pleased to have you in a new session of Infinite Wireless webinars. Today we are going to discuss about the newest products added to the Infinite's products portfolio, as well as about the latest upgrades of the current models, as part of Infinite's ongoing concern for innovation and development. The agenda for today includes three items. Firstly, we will highlight the Infinite Wireless solutions, and then we will dig into details for each of the point-to-point -point and the point-to-multipoint solutions. Regardless, we are talking about the distribution or the access part of any wireless network. The demands for capacity and system availability are continuously growing, but in the same time the challenges to meet them become higher and higher. For instance, the 5 GHz spectrum is heavily polluted due to the unprecedented amount of equipment operating in this unlicensed spectrum almost everywhere on the globe. To find a clear channel in the unlicensed spectrum becomes a rarity, therefore the operation in highly interfered environments is a serious challenge for products that are not adapted to this reality. Infinite products allow you to maximize the entire network performance in the actual outdoor environment that you have and with your actual spectrum. Infinite Wireless offers a complete range of wireless solutions for both point-to-point -point and point-to-multipoint broadband wireless deployments operating in sub-7 GHz bands for both license and license exam spectrum. In the point-to-point -point deployment, two locations at few kilometers one of each other are wirelessly interconnected, thus forming an Ethernet bridge, as well as in a point-to-multipoint deployment, more locations are wirelessly connected to a single location using one base station and multiple customer premise equipment connected to the base station. These are the perfect solutions for the wireless internet service providers, telecom operators, CCTV and enterprise networks everywhere on the globe. Let's now take a closer look to the point-to-point -point portfolio. During JITEX 2016 technology event held annually in Dubai, Infinite Wireless unveiled the Infilink XG1000, the latest addition to its point-to-point -point portfolio. Designed especially to meet the backhauling needs of all types of applications, such as 4G LTE backhauls, digital oil field connectivity and homeland security, etc., the Infilink XG1000 can provide a real throughput of up to 1 gigabit per second over the air in two non-adjacent channels of 40 MHz. This is effectively doubling the capacity of the Infinite's current high-performing product, Infilink XG. Considering its unbeatable spectral efficiency of up to 14 bits per second per hertz, Infilink XG1000 is the fastest point-to-point -point wireless solution available in the marketplace today. In its first edition, Infilink XG1000 operates in 5 GHz license-free frequency bands with 23, 26, 28 integrated antennas, as well as the connectorized model, outputting up to 150 milliwatts at each of its four radio chains, two of them combined to the vertical polarized antenna and the other two combined to the horizontal polarized antenna. To be mentioned that the form factor of Infilink XG1000 is completely the same as of the current Infilink XG product. This means real innovation. In addition to the Infilink XG1000, Infinite Wireless has also launched an extended range of models for the current Infilink XG product, which now supports new frequency bands such as 2 GHz, 3 GHz and 4 GHz on top of the previously available 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands. With the spectral efficiency as high as 13 bits per second per hertz, the Infilink XG models are ideal for the unlicensed backhauling in the standard Wi-Fi frequency bands, for the backhauls and high capacity access of mobile operators for the in-band and small cells LT backhauls and public safety networks. The maximum real throughput of Infilink HG reaches 500 megabits per second real throughput in 40 MHz channel thanks to the short cyclic prefix of 1 by 16 implementation for this bandwidth and up to 130 megabits per second in just 10 MHz of spectrum. All radios output up to 500 milliwatts per each radio chain and the range of the integrated antennas varies from 19 to 28 dBi so as we can offer a proper link for every demand. The processing power of Infilink XG reaches a million packets per second regardless the packet size and the typical one-way latency stays up to 3 milliseconds depending on the airframe duration. The Infilink XG model in 2 GHz is suitable for the 2.4 GHz industrial, scientific and medical connectivity, as called ISM radio bands, for the in-band backhauling of the LTE small cells, for the special license holders, 
the infilling kg model in 3 GHz is suitable for the high spectral efficiency point-to-point -point networks at X Y max frequency allocation for the replacement of the low frequency microwave systems for the LTE small cell backhauls. The infilling kg model in 4 GHz is suitable for NATO band connectivity, for public safety networks, for special license holders. Infilink XG product is a software-defined radio, thus on the same hardware architecture we can continuously bring more and more features. Among the latest software features added we can mention short cyclic prefix of 1x16 which brings up to 12% higher throughput in 40 MHz channel width thus reaching 500 Mbps per second. Extra robust QPXK 1x4 modulation coding scheme, the first modulation level. Boosted control block with 3dB which reaches frame loss in noise environment or in case of fading, in the default configuration it is activated. Also the control block is now transmitted at both chains which reduces the frame loss in noise environment or in case of fading. The spectrum analyzer tool is available in both CLI and web GUI for in-depth foreground spectrum analysis. The dynamic frequency selection and radar detection features are also available. The spectrum from 2 to 4 GHz is used by a wide range of radio systems such as 3G, Wi-Fi, LTE, weather radars, surface ship radars, communication satellites, especially those used by NASA, to communicate with the Space Shuttle and International Space Station. That's why the Infilink XG models operating in 2 and 3 GHz have a high linearity receiver with a high fidelity channel filtering to cut off in-band interferences. Continuing our discussion about the highly diversified family of Infinite Wireless point-to-point -point product, the next one on the list is Infilink 2x2 Pro, which brings together capacity of up to 280 megabits per second with a rich set of functionalities like fully featured layer 2 switching, proprietary mint routing set of protocols, and also OSPF version 2 and RIP version 2 routing protocols at layer 3, advanced multicast support, IGMP snooping, traffic filtering up to layer 4, enhanced QoS, 17 priority levels, 32 physical queues and 200 logical queues, and also traffic shaping, as well as security, 128-bit uh, advanced over-the-air encryption, broadcast storm flood protection, static links based on MAC addresses and security key. These are just some of the most important features. All Infilink 2x2 products are available across several licensed and unlicensed frequency bands from 3.1 to 6.4 GHz with a selection of integrated antennas and also the connectorized models. The new hardware upgrades of Infilink 2x2 Pro are as follows. Firstly, with four different types of radios, we can cover the entire spectrum from 3.1 to 4.0 GHz. Secondly, all radios in 3 and 6 GHz spectrum operate with up to 23 dBm transmit power and all radios in 5 GHz spectrum can output up to 27 dBm power. And the last but not least, the obsolete 21 dBi integrated antenna models in 5 GHz are now equipped with 23 dBi integrated antennas and also the 26 dBi integrated antenna model is available for the 5 GHz spectrum. And now let's take an example in order to understand the immediate benefits gained using the new MMX with 26 dBi integrated antenna transmitting up to 27 dBm against the obsolete MMX unit with 23 dBi integrated antenna transmitting up to 23 dBm. Well, at least 10 dBs are added to the link budget of course, in case of the same distance and link conditions, which leads to better link availability and at least double throughput. And regarding the 3 GHz spectrum, of course, our main purpose was to address the extended range of applications in specific regional license allocations, for example, in Latin America for educational and public safety networks. But not only, the replacement for low frequency microwave system is another goal. In case of the light models within Infilink 2x2 products, the maximum capacity reaches 180 megabits per second, but the same suite of networking features is available as in case of Infilink 2x2 Pro. Few of the particularities of Infilink 2x2 light models are lower costs, small form factor which allows low visual impact deployments, the pay as you grow concept, you can start with an initial low capex and benefit of the full features but on limited capacity of up to either 8 megabits per second net or up to 20 megabits per second net or up to 50 megabits per second net and in case the need for capacity increases you can unlock the limitation and go up to 180 megabits per second net and all this without any further opex as the capacity increase requires license upgrade only the new hardware upgrades of infilink 2x2 light are with four different types of radios 
we can cover the entire spectrum from 3.1 to 4.0 gigahertz. All radios in 3 and 6 gigahertz spectrum operate with up to 23 dBm output power and all radios in 5 gigahertz spectrum can output up to 25 dBm power. Therefore, both 18 and 27 obsolete models are discontinued. And the last but not least, the obsolete 21 dBi in integrated antenna models in 5 gigahertz are now equipped with 23 dBi integrated antennas and also the 26 dBi integrated antenna model is available for 5 GHz spectrum. And now let's take an example in order to understand the immediate benefits gained using the new SMN unit with 23 dBi integrated antenna transmitting up to 25 dBm against the obsolete SMN unit with 21 dBi integrated antenna transmitting up to 18 dBm at least 11 dB added to the link budget, which leads to double the distance, for example, from 10 to 20 kilometers for the same throughput, in this case, 100 megabits per second. As a summary about the point-to-point -point portfolio, the key applications of the infilling 2x2 family include 4G LT BTS backhaul, WISPs infrastructure backhaul, high capacity last mile access infrastructure, CCTV access backhaul infrastructure, building to building connectivity for private and enterprise networks, a cost effective alternative for legacy microwave links or wired lease lines, or reliable backup for fiber lines, high speed free space optical communication or millimeter wave links. Infinite Wireless also launched its rewarmed Infiman 2x2 product family, complemented by a brand new smart antenna base station sector unit known as QMXB. A new range of subscriber terminals fitted with 300 milliwatts, which is equivalent to 25 dBm, radio transmit models. The latest addition to the point to multipoint family was designed especially for the high density wireless internet service providers' applications and video surveillance demands in areas where the unlicensed 5 GHz spectrum is very congested, but also for the no line of sight wireless connectivity in urban environments. The following animations illustrate the difference in operation for the legacy sectorial antenna where the radiation pattern is fixed within the 90 degrees of the sector coverage and the smart antenna of QMXB which operates with adaptive beam that is steered towards the CPEs under operation. The smart antenna of QMXB is comprised of an array of four dual pole elements. There are 15 different positions of the beam plus one for broadcast, which operates at a lower gain of 10 dBi. Depending on the working frequency, the gain of the beam forming antenna in each of the 15 positions varies between 21 and 23 dBi. QMXB product is a time division multiple access system, which means a scheduled system where CPEs send and receive data to and from the base station in a serial fashion. Each CPE has access to the entire channel bandwidth in each time slot. Being a scheduled system with serial fashion operation, Depending on the position of the next CP waiting for transmission, the right beam will steer towards it, so on and so forth. So the beam's direction will be changed also in a serial fashion till the last CP in the sector. Of course, being a TDMA system, the maximum recommended number of CPs in the sector cannot be as high as in case of a marker access system. Among the QMXB benefits we can mention, less power can be used for transmission in uplink direction, higher CINR at reception as the signals from the base station are received with a higher gain, less interference at transmission as the electronic energy is more focused, higher sector capacity due to the higher modulation levels at which the CP is operated, improved performance at the edges of the sector, frequency reuse using ABAP system, simplified network planning and design, and stable operation in case of near and non line of sight. Regarding the product matrix of the Infiman 2x2 platform, the updates consist in the new CP models in 5 GHz that output up to 25 dBm, the discontinued 18 dBm radios in 3 and 6 GHz, and in general all hardware updates we've discussed about in case of infilling 2x2 models, plus the new beamforming base station. Among the main features added to the latest firmware versions of the R5000 series we can mention. In version 1.90.25, We've added the support for the new types high power CPU radios up to 25 dBm in 5 GHz. We've reduced the CPU usage when using the, the web GUI. We've improved the instant DFS algorithm for selecting a best channel. We improved the roaming algorithm. We've added the link uptime display over the link. We've increased the speed of the optimal routes calculation in networks with complex topology. We've improved stability and accuracy of the radio subsystem. 
In version 1.90.26, we've added the ability to mass firmware upgrade over the air within the Mint network via web interface of any device. And in the current beta version, which is 1.90.27, the spectrum analyzer is started simultaneously on all devices on the sector in combined mode, as well as the option to upload the custom SSL certificate with RSA private key in PEM format. As a summary about the point-to-multipoint product portfolio, the key applications of the Infiman 2x2 family include triple play wireless ISP networks, video surveillance traffic management and public safety wireless infrastructure, fixed nomadic and mobile connectivity solution for SCADA systems, long range rural connectivity, and government and municipal networks. This completes our agenda for today. Thank you once again for your time and see you again during our next webinar.